Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'd like to demonstrate the new onboarding process built directly into Ledger Live, which allows you to fund your accounts with Stablecoin by making a simple transfer from your bank. This will cut out the middlemen of cryptocurrency exchanges and greatly simplify the process, so you don't have to worry about making mistakes when you're trying to do transfers. This will keep everything directly in the secure enclave of Ledger Live, and so you can feel safe and secure trading cryptocurrency. It's a pretty simple, straightforward process, but it can be a little lengthy, so I wanted to walk you through the entire thing so that you can do it with confidence. And once you've got everything set up, you'll be able to make quick and easy transfers directly from your bank's phone app or desktop app. So let's jump in. All right, so before we can start this onboarding, we need to get ourselves signed up. So I'm gonna just launch my Ledger Live. All right, and the way to get started is to go to Receive. So we want to onboard Stablecoin, um, US dollar coin in this case. Uh, so we want to Receive. Uh, this is our onboarding step. So we'll hit Receive, and we wanna do it via bank transfer. So we're going to be able to onboard Stablecoin directly into our Ledger Live from our bank uh, with the help of a third-party service called NOAA. So uh, let's click here. All right, they're going to connect us to NOAA. What we need to do is create an account for our cash to Stablecoin. So we'll hit Create Account. And we'll use uh, our email and password. Do -do -do -do. Now I have a password manager that creates strong passwords for me. So uh, you'll want to create a strong password for this. All right, they're going to send an email code to my email. Uh, it was in my spam folder. So uh, if it doesn't hit your primary, double check your spam folder. Um, I'm going to get this code here. And then I'll tell it that this is not spam. So that should be in my inbox now. All right, so we'll go back here and we'll paste in that code. We'll hit continue. All right, I'll use uh, the crypto dad for this one. We'll hit continue. All righty. Uh, so we'll just have to agree to the terms of service and privacy. I'll go ahead and accept all cookies. I'll accept updates. In this case, we're going to pick our own code. Let's do that. It likes that one. All right, it wants me to enter it again just to confirm. All right, so there's a secret code. I can copy that to my clipboard, and we'll want to put that somewhere safe as well. Yes, I've saved my recovery phrase. Okay, now I need to do this. Privacy poli policy. Oops, you might want to read these. Now we'll continue. They need tax information. Okay. I'm going to be using a uh, US dollar here, of course. Let's start verification. Tell us where you're from. I'm from the US. Okay. Okay. So we got to jump through some hoops here to get this. Uh, these are the same hoops you'd have to jump through to open a bank account or uh, establish a Coinbase account or a Kraken account. Any kind of uh, fiat on-ramp is going to require personal information. Uh, what we're doing here is we want this to be integrated into our secure enclave of Ledger Live. We can bypass the exchange step. We don't have to worry about transfers. We can just onboard straight into Ledger Live. Uh, but of course, we need to um, go through KYC. It's just a fact of life in today's environment. So I'll go ahead and continue. Ah, there, there we go. United States of America. There we go, United States. You'll want to put your um, expected number of transactions. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't usually work for me because I have like five webcams on my setup here and I'm recording right now. So uh, it's not going to be able to see my webcam. So I'm going to continue on my phone. 
I find this seems to be easier for myself and most people, even if you've got a working webcam, it's much easier from your phone. All right, so I'm just going to continue on my phone. All right, so I'll choose driver's license. I'm going to need to take a picture of my driver's license. Uh, allow access to my camera. All right, that worked okay. Now I need to take a selfie. So uh, we'll continue here. All right, and I just need to move my head around a little bit. Okay, that worked all right. Now I've got my phone number in here already, so I'll just hit send for verification code. 5145. All right. And uh, just hang out and see how that works. Okay, so uh, this is a pretty simple just uh, verification that your identifying documents match your social security number. They don't do a background check or anything crazy like that. Uh, so it looks like everything uh, worked out okay. I'm just going to continue here. Uh, the personal information came into my phone uh, from the form. That looks good. Everything. Just double check to make sure everything is correct here. And I'll say yes. Please describe the purchase of your... Um, I'm going to try continue on the other device uh, because I'd like to finish this up in Ledger Live if possible. Let's do onboarding. All right, now they're verifying my personal information. This might take a few hours or a business day. I'm not quite sure. Um, so I'll come back when it's done. Uh, I've given them enough time for the approval. We'll see what happens here. Uh, let's go back over to uh, receive, right? And we're going to uh, receive via, via bank transfer. We'll go ahead and uh, connect to Noah here and see what happens. Okay, it's got me logged in. All right, so I would need to uh, select uh, an, a crypto account to receive the stable coin. Um, and this is U.S. dollar coin. So I'm going to use an Ethereum-based U.S. dollar coin account. So we'll hit select account. Um, I've got my Ethereum Stacks account here ready to roll. Uh, you can see I have several eligible accounts. You may only have one if you only have one Ethereum wallet and one device. Uh, but I'm going to just choose uh, the top one here. Now I need to confirm on my device. This is my uh, Ledger Stacks. I'll just go ahead and connect it. And I'll need to enter my PIN. So uh, let me hit this button here and see what happens. All right, that's good. All right, and uh, I'm going to need to sign this message. All right, I need to allow the secure connection here. And I need to open the Ethereum app. And now I need to review this message and sign it. All right, so this is uh, Noah wanting to verify my ownership of this wallet. And uh, then I'll hit sign by holding down this check mark until that uh, bar goes across. Okay, now it's asking for my NOAA security code. Um, I created this code when I was setting up the account. All right, now I'll enter that code and then I'll hit continue. Okay, so now it's creating the accounts. All right, now it says my cash to stable coin account is ready. Uh, comes with a uh, ACH number. Let's uh, hit D see details here. Okay, so here's all the account information. Now, of course, I'll need to fund this account uh, with money from my normal bank account. I can use this bank account to directly fund my uh, stablecoin purchases. So that means that uh, the stablecoin will come directly into my wallet. Um, all I have to do is have some money in this account. Now I tried doing this on my phone. That would probably be the preferred method for everyone, but I cannot screen share my uh, Chase Bank app. Uh, it goes flaky when I try to screen share my phone uh, with my uh, computer software. So I'm going to have to do this using uh, the desktop version of NOAA and the uh, web version of my bank. So um, on your phone, it will be very similar. So I'm um, sorry I couldn't uh, show you guys how I did it on my phone. 
<laughs> All right, so I'll just go over here and log into my bank. Of course, your bank would be different. Okay, so what I want to do is go over here to pay and transfer. And I want to transfer money uh, from my checking account to an external account. Uh, let me, t okay, now it's asking me which bank I want to transfer it to. Uh, let me try Lead Bank. See what that does. Yeah, so I'm um, going to do Lead Bank. Fill in the account. All right, uh, the account number I have, and it it uh, actually it filled in lead bank as soon as it got the account and routing. Um, and this is going to be checking, and uh, I'll call this one uh, Noah Lead Bank. It's just my personal uh, label for this. Let's see what happens here. So Chase is going to verify by sending two small deposits. Once, once I see those deposits in my NOAA balance, then I will uh, confirm them in the Chase mobile app. Um, and uh, I'll just take a picture of this so I don't forget. You could also cut and paste this somewhere too if you want to save the instructions. Okay, so I just got a couple of email alerts from NOAA. You can see here that I got one transfer for 18 and then another one for one cent. But I can check this in Ledger Live, actually. So I'll just go to the Receive tab and uh, use Bank Transfer, connect to my NOAA again. Uh, it looks like I got two incoming transfers. Oh, it looks like it went right into my U.S. dollar coin. Interesting. Okay. So um, I guess I don't even have to uh, manually take the step of moving it from NOAA to my stablecoin. All I have to do is uh, fund the NOAA account and it'll automatically convert into stablecoin. So let's go and double check that in my wallet. US dollar coin. Yeah, and you can see I received that 15 cents worth of US dollar coin into my wallet. So uh, now that uh, that's successful, I just need to verify that with my Chase Bank. Okay, so it told me to go to Pay and Transfer and External Accounts. Ah, okay, so uh, you can see I've got a couple here. I've, I've already done Crypto.com in the past. So now I just go to Verify Account, and it wants me to enter those two deposits. So uh, let's do uh, 0 0.18 and oh two digit okay <laughs> all right so we got 18 and 01 so 18 cents and one cent okay so we're good now i'll hit verify deposits and it now says that it's active okay so now uh, i can go ahead and uh, do a regular transfer uh, let's do schedule transfer i'll choose my checking account uh, to my NOAA account, and this time I'll use $100. It's, uh, I'm still doing test amounts. I don't want to go crazy yet. Um, I'm going to initiate it on today, and it's said that it's estimated uh, by the 8th. Um, and this is a Friday, so um, I it might show up in my account today. It might not. It just depends. But they always uh, estimate uh, three business days. So we'll see. Um, that's over the weekend. We'll see what happens. All right. So uh, we'll hit this next. Um, I don't have to fill this in, but I can if I want. I can put uh, stablecoin or USDC just so I'll know when I'm looking at my bank account. Let's hit next. And uh, it lays everything out. I'm transferring from my checking uh, into my NOAA. And it's going directly into Stablecoin in my wallet. So uh, pretty easy. Let's hit Transfer Money. And I'm done. I've scheduled the transfer to NOAA. And uh, I think that's all I need to do. Okay, so we finally made it down to the wire here. Um, I got an email alert from NOAA telling me that my transfer was complete. The, uh, the $100 test transfer that I did. 
So um, I have the US dollar coin in my account now, in my wallet. So if we go over to um, Ethereum and check my Ethereum stacks, you'll see that $100 worth of uh, US dollar coin in there. And if we go in here, you'll see that we received, there was a little bit from that first transfer, but uh, the bulk of it came in today. So um, basically, um, I was thinking it was a two-step process that you would have to fund the NOAA account and then manually pull anything in from the NOAA account. It doesn't work like that. Um, when you decide to transfer from your bank to NOAA, it will just automatically end up in your wallet. You don't have to do anything else. So it's a pretty seamless onboarding process once you get everything set up. This is not an impulsive buy type situation. Um, you take your time, you fund the account, you're proactive about it, and then uh, you know, make maybe every payday you'll put 100 or whatever you can afford into stablecoin, and it'll stay in stablecoin in your account, and um, it'll be there whenever you need it. So, uh, for example, I could uh, trade this. For some Solana right now now that it's in the account so uh, let's try Solana this is on my stack so I'm going to use the uh, stacks account of my Solana I'll get out my stacks device all right and um, I'll just go ahead and, and uh, swap all of it for Sol right now and uh, I can choose uh, which uh, service works best for me this one is the best deal so I'll go ahead and use them and then uh, I just have to authorize it on my device so I'll just uh, allow the secure connection and of course it's gonna need the exchange app it'll ask me to open it right and then I'll just authorize the swap all right and here's the device uh, I'll just swipe over um, and clear signing gives me a very uh, neat and clean human readable format for this I can see exactly what I'm doing and then uh, I'll hold to sign and there we go transaction broadcast successfully all right and it'll take a few minutes for the transaction to go through uh, because that was uh, a centralized swap but it all happens within ledger live Easy onboarding now using the NOAA service to facilitate uh, bank transfers directly into Stablecoin right within Ledger Live, your secure enclave. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered.